Ethan Buck is going to show our public services doing a little bit of drill. Over to you Ethan. We've got a reading from one of our students, Billy Rotherham. Over to you, Billy. We will have united today on Remembrance Day to remember the brave men and women that served in the war for our peace. In the First World War, the fields were empty with no crops, but after the war, poppies began to grow and bloom. To commemorate the departed, we make poppies with pride and the elites of poppies on the left of the silence. We are lucky to live in a safe environment with food, water, greener and shelter. We have healthcare workers, firefighters, police officers and armed forces to keep us safe. We take a lot of our activities and people for granted, such as access to educational institutions. During the war, a lot of learners couldn't go as it was too risky. People had to turn their lights off and hide to stay safe. In the war, people didn't have the privileges that we have today. They would see friends and family members wounded and die. We commiserate the brave and generous, along with the families that have lost loved ones. We are grateful that they provided us with peace and security. We have remembered the sacrifices of everyone. The soldiers who fought for us, doctors and nurses who tended the wounded, kids who had to mature and live without a childhood and many more. For many of us today is about remembering the older generation that fought in world wars. We are forever in their debt for the sacrifices they made. Lest we forget. Thank you. So the sound of a bell will mark our two minutes silence and it will finish on a second bell. And that concludes our two minute silence. If you could please remain where you are. We have another reading from a second year student, Danielle Howard, if you'd like to step across.
the inquisitive mind of a child. Why are they selling poppies, mummy? Selling poppies in town today. The poppies, child, are flowers of love. For the, man, for the men who marched away. But why have they chosen a poppy, mummy? Why not a beautiful rose? Because, my child, men fought and died. In the fields where the poppies grow. But why the poppies so red, mummy? Why the poppies so red? Red is the colour of blood, my child. The red that our soldiers shed. My heart of the poppy is black, mummy. Why does it have to be black? Black, my child, is a symbol of grief. For the men who have never came back. But why, mummy, are you crying so? Your tears are giving you pain. My tears are my fears for you, my child. For the world is forgetting again. Thank you very much, Fred.